Sekiro for my channel was somewhat of a turning point, I guess you could say. I guess with my idea of content creation, the journey, the experience, things I wanted to capture, things that I did naturally that were captured naturally because I'm recording. The point is, Sekiro was nice. It was a good time, even though I hated the halfway portion onward of the game. And it made me also see the value of just having a playthrough and the interaction with you guys on my channel, etc., etc. But you know how I get down. This is not a playthrough. This is code vein. Now, I got the game early. Shout out to Bond. <laughs> But that was to you, whoever sent me this. I got the game early. There are some things that I know I'm gonna have to see again because I played the, this build, I think the beginning half, like what, four to five times already? But that's not the issue that I'm coming across. The issue is I don't know what to do with my creative care. I don't know who I wanna be. There's too many options for me who loves creating shit to choose. If you guys didn't know, I got my PhD in The Sims 3 and The Sims 4. So what that means is I, I'm the wrong person for this shit. Now I went to the... Okay, this is a different. Wait, what? Before beginning of the game, you must have... Before getting into this, I went into the, uh, what you call it, demo shit. What's this? Hello? Uh, unlocked. Sure. I went to the demo shit of this, whatever, the trial, just to kind of see what I would, you know, want to... Male, female, vagina, penis. I don't understand what I want. Can I do both at this point? Now, how I want to go about things, Code Vein, I'm sure, has beautiful music. You know what I'm saying? But that's... That's not how I get down. I like the idea of unlimited creativity. Yeah, this is all the same, I'm sure. We have like Jesus telling me, woman G, can I say, you hear me, da da da, cruise, and I can't skip. Now, if you watch this, the, the first, I guess, video where I played the recent demo build, I went with Petra, and Pe bro, I love her. Then, I wanna have myself. It's, I don't, I don't know what the fuck I wanna do. I heard that you can transfer your characters from the, oh, you can't, look at God, bro. So this is the pet, no, this is my nigga. This is the Petra that I updated a little bit. I think this is what I wanna do. But if I were to play as myself, it would have to be this, with the makeup on. And I don't know how I feel about that. Cause I don't know what the cutscenes are going to be. I have thumbnails I wanna make, all right? And I don't wanna be Ubu the whole entire time. But God damn, bro, this is hilarious to me. The lore that I'm going with here is I was taken over by the nine tail fox. You see that little red eye in there and for some reason it makes me extremely shy and bashful around demons uh, okay i guess we're going with petra that lore is not strong enough now if you played fire emblem three houses you already know what the fuck going on this was the girl i wifed i gave her my seed men mentally there was no sex scenes but in my head i had to force one and maybe hold on what did i just say the point is this my baby and i think this is what i want to do now i had to put the collar up because her neck was just overpowered i had to nerf it a little bit because you look at this shit, maybe you don't see it in the cutscenes, but this shit is long as fuck. But with the collar it just gives me like little borders you know, when you play in bo bowling, rather, and you have like the little shit in the gut. I'm gonna shut up. Now I'm entering this as a Dark Souls pro. That is what I call myself. I never beat Dark Souls. It's a joke, but I am a Sekiro pro. Now Dark Souls was the origins, but Sekiro was where I got my WWE champion belt. And from what I played so far, I can tell you confidently, this shit finna be a breeze. So because I played through the beginning portion so many times, link down below to, I guess, the videos where I've, I've done it. I've done it once and then twice with Petra for the first. You know, it's up to you. Do what you want. But listen, I'm skipping this. Just finished. It literally, it's the same exact thing as I thought before. So it's, I guess, from this point onward, everything is new, I think, from what my homies told me. Yeah, so all the same people as it was in all, I guess, of the versions of the game. Uh, Shoddy over here, jukebox I can turn on for the music that sounds edgier than my life itself. But you know what? I, I still like it. Personally, I just kind of like having the music off just for my own, like, experiences. But I guess for the first thing, I do want to hear how the OST is. I'm definitely curious about that. So another thing I noticed uh, in the full game, there's not any newer uh, character creation shits going on. No sliders, no new outfit by my side. Uh, uh, but besides that, and there is no height slider either. I kind of wanted that because I'm a fucking gargantuan woman now amongst this pack of regular civilians. I don't understand how I'm supposed to fit in. The one thing I'm kind of bummed about with, with Petra is like all of this shit is a lot more skimpier and out there than I would probably like, uh, that I that I do like, right? This looks okay. If I had a mind, I'd have these little drapey shits, but this looks so dumb when I get like one of those outfits from like the war, the, the, the demon world, you know? It makes the drapeys look like a dress and that's just, that's just not what I'm here for. Okay. Okay, so this is entirely different. So before when he got my blood, well, I, I didn't, nothing happened. Do I got jiggle? Hold up. Ooh, okay, that was a stiff ass jiggle. Anyways, lie down. Oh, we got more poses? Hold up. Oh, this is the sleepy pose. Oh no, wait, don't let Bill Cosby see this. I don't know why I'm so enamored with how this character looks so much like Petra. Like that's the only thing that I like about this. It's so authentic. Now I did see a lot of authentic created characters that you guys made, but we gonna get in that later. All right, nigga, I rested. Now give me my blood back. All right, so there's a lot of weird shit. Go I guess they're trying to figure out what type of, of being I am with this void, whatever. So this is all, ew, what? I don't remember any of this from 
any of the builds I play. Oh, pro okay, I remember this. I got Prometheus shit. Okay, yeah, so this is all the same. The only part that threw me off was having to lay down the bed. So let me get this out the way real quick. So one thing that Code Vein does a little bit different than the other, I guess, soul art types is you can pick what type of character you kind of want to go with. Brazil it's, it's different. It's not just basic range uh, casting with spells or whatever. There's a, a large plethora, I'm sure, of abilities and things you can become. I like what the fighter is just because it's straightforward, and I feel like I can learn the best of what this game has to offer with this. Ah, so with, oh, with leveling up, it's pretty, this is pretty vanilla. What the heck? So it's not just individual skills like strength, dexterity, whatever. It's all of them. <clears throat> okay, now I do need the preface that the story, the cutscenes that are going to be shown, I'm going to be skipping them for the most part in this video. I will tackle them in my own way when I figure out the narrative that I want to hit in my own way, but I personally am not interested in the story, so I don't want to show something that they have it in the way that I don't like. So let me be creative. I'll get in my pack. But right now, we're just going to play the game. Go to Hot Spring. Nigga, what? Am I getting nudie? If I see a titty, I'm screaming no cap. Ooh, this is an unnecessary feature. Okay, you can view memories and check. Ouch! It's really hot. Hot girl summer still and the summer's over that's cool. this is for cutscenes sake right this makes sense because they literally dump this story on you so this is who the f who said you can get in here oh, i feel no i'm uncomfortable i'm getting out all right i think this is what i gotta do i gotta go residents of the world res oh there's people here okay i've activated oh merchants oh okay nigga triangles i don't want nothing you gotta offer all right well so far so confused as many paths i can take i don't remember where i came from i think okay this is where i came from and then this is this doesn't look enticing at all. So I'm just going to go this way. This is nice. Do I think you would like this game? I, Bro, it's such an acquired taste. Honestly, watch either me play a bit or look around. You have to you have to explore a little bit to see if this is your cup of tea. It's literally like the homunculus of Dark Souls and Bloodborne, but there's something else in this. You know, it has a little bit. Of, you might like that taste. I feel like it's a little bit acquired, but it might not be for you. Now, worst case scenario, I come into a point where I just don't like the game. I'm not going to force myself to play it, but I'll be vocal about it at the same time. Lewis, I'd even ask you to say shut up, Lewis. Relax. So the main enemy type is called the lo that sword is cool as hell. How did you get that? And why do I got this bummy ass? So first new enemy since playing and you do look kind of cool. Who threw that? And why would you do that? I wasn't even ready. Okay. Well, I don't know if my teammate's going to handle that one. I'm okay. 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 There's, there's a lot of y'all. What's going on? y'all? What's going on? I didn't know it was a party. Oh, what the fuck was that? Was that a semen grenade? A semen grenade afro? Why would you say that? A, a dust grenade. There you go. I have a lot of my homies here from TwitchCon and the, I guess the homie lingo is rubbing off on me. That's that's it, Sunset Sword. This it? This does not look as cool as the name. I'm kind of upset. Don't, don't, don't. So the combat is very bare in the beginning. I will say that confidently. When will they get harder? Who knows? I do think it's easy to over level yourself with how the leveling system is. So I don't know. I'm not trying to sound negative or anything. These are just things I'm noticing based off of okay maybe this got way difficult way quick this is a lot of niggas okay level up with the, the attack so i have to use some of my items too right because uh powering up my attacks and shit is going to be crucial in these moments where i'm getting a goddamn teamed on and i'm in a corner no i'm not uh, yes i am help me help me right when i was talking shit about how easy this game might be i'm in a oh, okay okay now i have the counter option but I'm a little bit rusty on that because there's a certain specific hit that I need to <gasps> plan for them to hit when I do it and I'm dead. Help me, Lewis. Oh my gosh, I love you. Now I do have an option to play without a teammate, but I feel like if I do, it's gonna be very boneless Dark Souls-esque. I think the teammate aspect is what separates this game from the, the fold of the Dark Souls game. So I wanna kind of use the mechanic instead of, you know, taking it away and limiting what this game has to offer. Like Lewis. That cape you got's pretty saucy, Lewis. I ain't ever gonna tell you how to dress. That's for goddamn sure. Lost shard. Now let me ask y'all a question because this is something I wouldn't like personally. But let's say, figuratively speaking down the line, they make a Dark Souls-esque game that has romancing options with some of the characters. How would you feel about that? My friend was telling me he was dead set against the idea that this game is doing that just because a few girls have titties. And that's just not what I think's gonna happen, surely. I feel like if it's done right, if, if anything's done right, it could be good. So I mean, it's, I don't know, 50-50 for me, but I just think that's that's not what this formula needs, personally. Ow, okay, Lewis. All right, wasn't prepared for this, I'm not gonna lie to you. You juggled the hell out of this bitch, hold up. She's pretty easy, it looks like. Ooh, ooh, actually, I do remember fighting this in one of the uh, betas or something. Not the betas, but the... <gasps> Lewis, 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 thank you. One of the alphas of this game, and I, I did die because there was more than one of these things, but by itself, it's not that bad, actually. Do that take fall damage? Only one way to find out. <laughs> Oh my gosh, why did I do this? Why do I do this every fucking time? Lewis, I need your help. Come on, bro. Ooh. Oh, sh oh yeah, they got the back hit thing, right? 
Um, I, I think I've showed this off somewhere before in some footage, but if you get them when they're like, huh, behind their back, I think I can do it again. Oh, right there. And then you could just like ugh, put your little claws in them. Yeah. Now, I did mention this as well, too, but just to reassure that we're on the same page, there's different outfits. And with these outfits, there's different, I guess, uh, routes that you go with your um, special moves. Like for this, I have a claw and um, there's a scorpion tail and some. What the f***, Wait, bro? Hold up. Look at this. I got to show this off real quick. So I'm about, I'm about to slide down. All right. Don't blink. Don't blink. Look at this. Ugh. Petra. Petra. Drop that shit. You got it. The world is yours. Queen Lewis, back up. You're messing up my scene. Yeah, this is, this is quite too many heads. This is quite too many heads for me. That's for sure. Okay. 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 Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Lewis is about to die for sure. I don't know if I can keep on. Yeah, this there is not made to have this many characters on screen. It's not. It's stuttering like shit. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm dead. I'm I'm gonna die. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Heal. But this is. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Get, get this. Get this. Not worth it. Definitely not worth it. Can I fall in there? I think I can. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. So this is a uh, pretty cool. I'm not gonna uh, until I do this. All right. Oh, oh my fucking Lewis. Well, that's actually an exploit. Look at my no ass. All right. Well. I'm gonna die. There's just no way. If this is a boss, oh look at this. What's going on here? I need to save, bro. Don't don't have me going out tragic, please. That's all I ask. <clears throat> now this wasn't a boss. I'm pretty sure I'm extremely close to one, but I'm gonna save that for next time. In the first few hours I played, nothing really hard popped up at all. I can't, well, I'll give you the verdict as we go on. I'm really in between how I feel about this game currently, so I'm going to uh, dive deep to see how I feel and if I go a little bit further.